HubSpot CRM tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use HubSpot CRM for free. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know what a CRM is, a CRM is a customer relationship manager. And over here, HubSpot offers that for free. So let's get started. So over here, I'm on their website, HubSpot.com. And over here, as you can see, we have the CRM over here. This is basically over here. Let me actually go to their main website. You know, let me show you where you can actually find this option. So if you go over to HubSpot.com, this is how it's going to look like, right? So if you scroll down below, you will have your meeting hub, sales hub, you have your service hubs, CMS hubs, and operations hub, right? So this is how it looks like. And over here, it's an easy to use CRM. So over here, you have your softwares. If you click on softwares, you will see free HubSpot CRM. So we click on this and we can go ahead and use the CRM. So we'll just simply click on get free CRM over here. And now we are good to go over here. We're just simply going to sign up with our account. So first name, last name or email address or sign up with Google. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google because it's much more easier. And once you've done that over here, they're going to ask you what industry are you in? So I'm in the media tech type of industry. So I'm going to go over here and media productions. Yep. And what is your job role? I am a team leader. All right. Team lead and click on next. And over here we add in the company name. So it is one media. We'll click on continue. We have at least two to five employees. And then we add in the company website. So it's going to be over here dot. And then we just simply click on next. And then over here, where would you like your data to be hosted? Yeah, we'll go with the US and click on create account. And then it's going to go ahead and prepare our account for us. All right. So which of these stands out the most? I've never used a CRM before. I'm new to HubSpot, but I have used a CRM before. I know my way around HubSpot very well. So let's go ahead and choose the first option. I have never used a CRM. So which part of the CRM platform do you want to use? So we have marketing customer service, sales, operations, and all of that. So I just want a general overview of it and click over there. And now it's going to log in. And then it's going to take us over here onto the dashboard. And then we can go ahead and start a quick demo, right? But I don't really want the demo, but this is how it looks like. So this is going to be your dashboard over here. You're going to have all of your sales data, you know, your closed versus goals. You will have your activity of the month over here, deal stage funnels and deal forecast as well right so over here this is going to be your sales dashboard and if you click on sales dashboard you're going to see you have marketing dashboard you have sales dashboard service dashboard and web analytics as well so over here you can go ahead and create a new dashboard and you have your options as well all right then i'm just simply going to go ahead and add some contacts over here and yeah i don't import data and just simply click on next yep i agree to the terms and services and finish import and boom we have ourselves some contact list right so pretty simple. Now over here, what you can do is you have a bunch of different contacts, right? So over here, let's go ahead and do that. So over here in contacts, you're going to have all of your contacts. You have companies, calls and all of that, right? You have your conversions, marketing sales, and these are going to be all of your contacts, right? So you have your name, preparing file, about HubSpot. Then you have your my contacts over here. And then you have unassigned contacts right here. Now, for example, if you wanted to assign a different contact, just simply choose that contact and just simply click on assign. And over here, you can assign that contact to whatever you want, right? And then you simply click on update and you are good to go. Now, if you wanted to, you like, for example, make some deal over it, you just simply click on that contact and then it's going to open up the contact details in a new tab over here. Let me show you over here, as you can see that over here, you will have your property history, view property, you will have all of your contacts deals as well so currently there is no deal for this one but you can go ahead and add a deal by clicking on this add button right here and then over here you can add the details of this contract so this is the contract over here you can add in the pipelines the deal stage the amount the closing date and all of that and then you can add some more details to make a deal and then you just simply click on create and you will have a deal created and then you are good to go right so that's how you basically do it now you can also add other companies as well so these were like contacts right so if you wanted to add another company just click on the contact over here and you will see all of the companies that you have been able to so as you can see currently these companies are unassigned so over here you have all of your company owners you have create data last activity and lead status as well so these are my companies over here these are all the companies that you can see now if you wanted to select a company you know, you just simply click on a company and you can go ahead and add a sub bunch of details to it. So over here you can add in the industry, the company owner, the type, the city and all of that. Now, since there is no data on this company, what I can do is 
I can click on this company and I can click on assign and then I can assign a person to this over here and you can go ahead and convert that over there right so you can create a task for this company as well so if I click on create tasks for company name over here you can go ahead and do that and you can assign this task to other people you can be like uh, find data on this company right this is going to be the task and you can put this in the to-do list you know and then you can give it a priority i'm gonna call it, give it a medium priority and then you can assign this to other persons and then you can queue it as well and then due date is going to be you know in a week and then you just simply click on create now that that task has been created then when someone you know previews this what will happen is they'll see the task created over here and they can go ahead and do that so pretty simple right over here as you can see then over here let me just go back to over here and then as i said before you have your conversions as well so over here you're going to have your inbox over here where you will receive all of your messages and notifications and let me just load it up a little bit over here as you can see this is how it looks like then you have your chat flow over here so over here it's going to be your chat flow you can create your first chat flow by clicking on the create chat flow button and you can go with either you know website or facebook messenger i'm going to continue with you know website and let's set up chat over here and then you can set up the chat widget by here so this is how it's going to look like you can change the color of the overall chat as well so i'm going to keep it gray and then this one is going to be for the send person and then we'll just simply click on next and then over here you can add specific teams and specific users and then you can add those users down below and then you can write a welcome message over here for them and then you can just simply click on next and then you can check the availability based on team members status based on working hours right so you can do this or you can go with the chat is available 24 7 right so you can do that as well but it all depends on you and then just simply click on next then you preview it and this is how it's going to look like and then you simply click on next and then you install the code so to install the tracking code on your website just simply copy this code and go over to your website and add the snippet into a code and add a snippet and you are good to go so but we're just simply going to skip this for now over here so pretty much that's it right that's how you do it that's how you set up you know your chat features and as i said before you have your marketing features that are going to be over here such as ads email campaigns landing pages socials and seo and campaigns and forms right so if you click on ads over here you can go ahead and connect a score and you can run an ads over here right pretty simple and then you have your email ad over here there where you can you know create your email marketing campaign as well and then you have your landing pages as well you can create multiple landing pages on different websites and then you can connect it with hubspot over here or you can upgrade your account and create one over here for yourself then you have your automations over here you will have sequences and workflow so in workflow you know you can create a pretty decent workflow that is going to be fully automated so whenever someone maybe like changes the status of a task or has a new contact or you know someone gives you a message what you can do is you can set up an automated reply or automated action that is going to do all of the things that you would normally do in response to them but you know the ai will do that for you and pretty much that's it those are all the things you needed to know about you know hubspot now there's still a lot of things that you can go over here so this was just a small video you know like a small little overview of it didn't go into depths of it because you know then the video would be way too long and i'm pretty sure you don't have that much time but i just wanted to give you a brief overview and then you can come over here use it yourself experiment it for your own needs and see if it works for you so remember guys if you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.